I wanted to look at this really, really simple example to talk about oxidation reduction reactions. In an oxidation reduction reaction, electrons are transferred from one atom to another. And like I said, this is a very straightforward example. You can see that in this reaction, magnesium goes from neutral to plus two. In order to become positively charged, it must have lost electrons. You need to remember that Leo, the lion, says Ger. Losing electrons oxidized. So if it's losing electrons, it's oxidized. Gaining electrons reduced. So in this case, we are losing electrons. So we can remember Leo. So magnesium is oxidized. The sulfur goes from neutral to minus two. That is gaining electrons. So sulfur is reduced. They are always going to happen in a pair because we can never just have electrons magically create out of thin air or disappear in chemical reactions. We're still conserving mass and matter. So a redox reaction, we often say redox because we've got a reduction reaction and an oxidation reaction happening together at the same time in all cases. Like I said, I wanted just a little quick example. You will practice this a lot in the future because we're going to balance these reactions and it's a lot more complicated than the straightforward balancing we've been doing this far.